Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to module 2 of the course uh, time dependent quantum chemistry. In this module we have gone over, um, uh, we have tried to find out classical mechanical flavor in uh, quantum dynamics. Uh, we have gone over Arrhenius phase theorem and hydrodynamic formulation of TDSE. Next we will go over uh, Bohemian mechanics. This is the third topic which we will cover in this, in this module. In, in, in the Bohemian uh, uh, formulation uh, what we will do, uh, we will rewrite the TDAC as two equations. So, we had TDAC, we started with TDAC. These are all different formulation of TDAC. We started with TDAC, time dependence Orange equation. Here x is a function of, uh, sorry, psi is a function of x and t. And uh, we will rewrite this equation into two equations. One for the probability density. and another one for the phase function. And this phase function we will see that in Bohemian mechanics this phase function will give me the velocity or the local velocity, it is called local velocity or Bohemian velocity. What does it mean? I will discuss that one. So, from phase function I will get the local velocity. We have understood that variable separation method which we have previously used uh, under the assumption that Hamiltonian of the system it does not depend on time. Under this assumption we have done variable separation method and uh, from variable separation method uh, we have been able to get the solution to the TDAC and we have got one solution which is called stationary state. Solution we have got by this where we have this time dependent phase factor introduced and E represents the energy of the particle. This is just review of what we have already understood. This psi x is position dependent um, uh, stationary state of the particle. As every experimental observables are associated with the probability density of the particle, probability density of the particle is represented by this rho x t which is nothing but psi x t absolute square. So, every experimental observables is actually related to this psi, uh, sorry, to this rho, not to this psi. 
the probability density of the particle expressed by this equation which is coming from this psi does not depend on time and that is why it is called stationary state. So, stationary state has time dependency for the wave function, but not for the density and because density is something which we observe experimentally, experimentally we do not see any time dependence. Time dependence in order to observe time dependence we have understood that superposition state is very important and it is expressed by this linear combination of different states, stationary states with its expansion coefficient. Now this is we have already understood and that makes rho xt to be dependent on time. It, it can be function of time for only superposition state. So, what does it mean? It means that at t equals t1 time I have some density this is rho versus x again at t equals t2 time I have some other density. So, then density is changing as a function of time x and t as a function of time density is changing it means that I have the dynamics in the quantum system. Now, when we have when we said that this linear combination can be used this equation itself even if I take two stationary states this equation can be very complicated. So, instead of such a complicated uh, wave function which will represent the dynamics of quantum system one can propose that ok let us assume that the trial wave function looks like this. Trial wave function has amplitude as well as time dependent phase. So, this A x is the amplitude and S x t is the phase function. And we will assume that both of these functions are real. This is the assumption we are making uh, for the time dependent wave function because this time dependent wave function remember we will if I take the row of this time dependent wave function I still get time dependency in the density and time dependency in, in the density it means that this wave function is suitable to represent quantum dynamics. as opposed to this stationary state wave function. Although note the similarity between this wave function and this wave function. It has a time dependent phase factor, it has time dependent phase factor, it has some kind of amplitude which is time independent, but here only difference is that I have time dependent amplitude. So, both are changing as a function of time and that kind of wave function can be very useful to represent my quantum dynamics. So, instead of taking this superposition state wave function complicated linear combination of wave function one can propose that one can use this as a trial wave function and then plug that in to uh, TDSC and get the solution for that for the for the for the particular system. So, because this a and s they are unknown function we have to find out what kind of form we have in this function. So, we have to plug that in this wave function is to be plugged into the into the TDSE. 
time dependence or injury equation and that is exactly what we are going to do. So, Sorringer equation TDS is I H cut time derivative and then I have the space derivative this psi. So, what we will do right now we will take the time and space derivative separately. So, first we will take the time derivative. this time derivative is going to be e to the power i by h cut s x t plus a i by h cut time derivative of the phase function multiplied by this exponential part. So, this is time derivative and then we will go for the space derivative. If we take the, the space derivative it is going to be the first e to the power i by h cut s x t plus a i by h cut space derivative. Then I have to take the second derivative because Hamiltonian operator has second derivative in it. So, I have to take the second derivative. the power i h cut plus i by h cut to the power i by h cut plus i by h cut e to the power i by h cut this is first derivative with respect to this term then this is this is the first derivative with respect to that term and then I have to take the first derivative uh, second derivative this is going to be second derivative of this term and then finally, so this one is done and so then this one is remaining a i by h cut. And again a by i by h cut e to the power i by h cut s. This is just a tedious mathematical derivation, but one can easily do that. So, now we will reduce it further. We have now second derivative with respect to x e to the power i h cut s plus this term we have twice. We have another term 
missing here we had plus this term would be coming twice so that is going to be dA dx i by h cut dx e to the power i by h cut x t. So, these two terms would be twice. So, we write down e to the power i by h cut plus plus I have double derivative so this is just a this is just a so I have a i by h cut to the power i by h cut x t. Plus now this part going to be negative because we are going to multiply i by i here. So, this is going to be negative a by h cut square whole square e to the power i by h cut s x t. So, this is what we have reduced. This is just tedious one can do it very quickly and uh, all we have to do is that now we have second derivative with respect to space and time derivative we have. So, we will be able to plug that in TDSE. If we do that then what I get is i h cut then time derivative that is going to be dt e to the power i by h cut s x t plus a i by h cut e to the power i by h cut s x t. This is equals to minus h cut square by 2 m then the second derivative part second derivative part is the entire term that is going to be e to the power i i s got s plus 2 e to the power i s plus a i by h cut second derivative of the space uh, phase function e to the power i by h cut s minus a by h cut square whole square e to the power i by h cut s. So, this is the entire term for the second derivative plus of, of the kinetic energy part and then we had potential energy part. So, this is combination of kinetic energy and potential energy. So, that potential energy part I write down V a e to the power i by h cut s. This is the final form of the TDSE. So, all we need to do now in this equation on the left hand side I have some real part and on the right hand side I have some real part. So, that needs to be equal on the other hand on the left hand side I have some 
imaginary part on the right hand side we have imaginary part we will make them equal. So, we will just equate separately real and imaginary part. We will look at the imaginary part first. So, this was the equation which we have got in the previous slide and if we look at the imaginary part, imaginary part is going to be following this part is going to multiply it by i h cut. So, this part is going to be uh, real part and imaginary part is going to be this part. So, this is this is going to be imaginary. Then this is imaginary, this one is imaginary. Yeah, these are the imaginary parts and one can also notice that I can remove this exponential part from each term. They can actually be eliminated. So, I will just go ahead and equate the imaginary parts where I have h cut time derivative equals minus h cut square by 2 m. So, this 2 2 will be gone. So, I do not need 2 m by m then dx. So, we have uh, this uh, h cut by m uh, dx then the derivative of the s function and then I have this imaginary part this one. So, these three are imaginary part. So, I have this minus h cut divided by 2 m a second derivative with respect to x or I can rewrite this one as plus 1 by m plus a by 2 m second order derivative this becomes 0. So, the probability density this is the equation after equating the imaginary part the probability density for a particle is represented by uh, for this particle probability density will be represented by because psi x t has a form of a x t e to the power i by h cut s x t. So, density will be represented by nothing by a square and I, I, I said that a is going a is, a is real that was the assumption we have made. So, because it is real it is nothing but the a square and if it is a square I will be able to find out time derivative of the pr probability density that is going to be 2 a d a d t and uh, similarly space derivative is going to be 2 a d a d x. So, now what we will do here we will just multiply this equation by 2 a. If we multiply this equation by 2 a then what I get 2 a plus 2 a by m plus a square by m second order derivative equals 0. Now, I can insert 
this one and this one here. If we do that then I can see that 2A time derivative is nothing but its this function plus 2A space derivative here I have 2A and space derivative. So, this is nothing but 1 by m plus a square is nothing but rho by m so i have been able to reduce this one and i can further reduce it this is nothing but time derivative plus this can be written as rho by m we can write down this one. So, this two term can be written as derivative of a product and as a result one can finally write down dt equals minus of rho by m space derivative. Now, we will recall uh, the hydrodynamic formulation of TDSE. Previously, we have done that hydrodyna hydrodynamic formulation where we have presented rho density change of density as a function of probability current. So, we have shown that change of probability density is nothing but negative of the gradient of the current at that point and uh, particular definition of J has been given already. So, we are not giving it right now. So, one can say that this is nothing but rho by m dx or j has now new definition in Bohemian mechanics. j is nothing but this part. So, we can recall that rho is unitless, it is a probability density, this is unitless quantity and j represents some kind of velocity in one dimension. So, if this is velocity then one can say that this entire term which is given here is representing the velocity of the particle. This is called local velocity. or Bohemian velocity. So, what we have got is some kind of velocity information we have got for the particle uh, which is moving and what does it mean by this velocity? We will go over it uh, in the next session.